Hey there, everybody. It's Phil. We have a brand new watch, a brand new toy with a brand new version of Android Wear on it. Let's go take a look. All right, so here we go. It is the LG Watch Urbane. Now, it's been a little while since I've seen this. Played with it in Barcelona at Mobile World Congress. Really nice watch. Nice leather band. Nice metal design. The beautiful plastic AMOLED display. Uh, same thing they use in the G Flex and the G Watch R. And here it is now. So let's set it up. Uh, normally, we wouldn't walk through a, a setup like this, but this is Android 5.1 on here. It's a whole new thing. And I haven't actually seen this before, so I'm doing this for the first time with you. Connect your watch to a power source. Fine. I will follow the instructions. I don't do that very often, but okay. Uh, swipe to continue. Let's pair your phone. This is pretty standard for Android, where you can see it's already showing up there on the uh, LG G4, actually. <laughs> so uh, let's... Pair them up here, just over Bluetooth. This is completely normal, but it does look a lot nicer now, both uh, in the app and on the watch. So Google has done a very nice job there. Let's pair it. Okay. We are pairing, we are paired, and we are syncing data. Now, this actually took far longer than I expected it to. I really had no idea. Usually on the first launch, you know, it's with a brand new watch, brand new build, whatever. It takes a little while. Um, this took probably 10, 15 minutes. I have a feeling, and I'll just go ahead and set up smart lock and you know, you can't see my password. Uh, I have a feeling it was probably done setting up and then just kind of sat there. I mean, it's Bluetooth. Weird things happen still in 2015 with Bluetooth. Oh, uh, look at that. Nice leather LG G4. Uh, goes kind of nicely with the leather on the watch and you can obviously swap out that uh, watch strap for whatever you want. Anyway, Add a trusted device, sure, as long as we are still syncing. So, yeah, it, it took a long time. I mean, I sat there for 10, 12 minutes and uh, just finally kind of gave up on it a little bit. And we're just going to tell you what, I'm going to speed through this. Just, you know, it took a while. And I'm sitting here and I'm getting a little dizzy and it's just like, all right, all right enough. Sync, sync already. Um, finally, I just kind of, you know, gave up and uh, picked the watch up off the charger. By the way, the charger is just about the same as the G Watch R charger. It's technically a different model number. Uh, you've got that nice kind of Moto 360 sort of uh, charging thing there too. So it's technically a different model, but they do work together, which is nice. So, okay, now it's finally working. Uh, you're all set. Swipe up to get started. Easy, right? Yeah. So, I mean, this is all kind of normal. We've seen this in Android Wear for a while, but it looks nicer now. They did a nice job there. Uh, now my apps are starting to install. You can see that. I'm starting to get notifications already stocks so some stuff looks new some stuff doesn't but everything sort of works the normal way right you're swiping up and down you're still swiping left and right that takes a little getting used to which you know fine uh there's a nice new watch face so cool we've got a lot of those we'll go through them in a minute the menus are all new all new icons uh, i'm not entirely sure how this works so i'm gonna fumble around a little bit ah we have contacts front and center Nice. So let's flip through this at first. Uh, dictionary. Oh, cool. That's nice to have. Finance, fit, flashlight, Google, LG Pulse, remote shutter, settings. So some of this is going to be native to the watch, and then it's also right now as you're watching this loading my apps. So uh, yours might look a little different at some point. Brightness, change watch face, font size, wrist gestures. So this is new. This is part of the 5.1 thing. You can turn them on and off if you don't want to use them. Wi-Fi settings. This is also new. So if you're out of range of your phone, it will hook into the Wi-Fi, say, in your house, and then you don't have to worry about being within Bluetooth range as long as you're on that same Wi-Fi network. Uh, magnification gestures and accessories. So that's kind of cool. Uh, power off and about. Let's go into the about settings since we're here. LG Watcher Bane. Cool. 4FAF. Uh, version numbers, see the Android Wear version in Android 5.1.1, one of the first devices running it, right? Besides a couple Nexus devices so far. Uh, we'll go ahead and turn on developer settings before I forget, because I'll hate myself later if I fail to do it. Uh, while we're here, let's just double check and make sure there's not another system update or anything. And no, there's the uh, you are up to date screen that we're all too familiar with. Okay, so there's that. Those are the settings. And let's see, over here we've got your contacts. Cool. I'm not going to dive into those. We all know what contacts are and what they do. I'm not going to. No. And over here you have sort of your usual Android Wear menu. This is, I'll call it legacy for want of a better term right now. But uh, that looks pretty much like what we're used to as well. So you can launch apps from there. So that's all kind of standard stuff. 
Um, as far as notifications go, I mean, everything kind of looks and feels the same way. You see my apps are still installing while we're doing this. It's kind of fun to watch, actually, and, and see them all do it. And it's nice that you can see which apps are installed now. Uh, that's something you couldn't really do before. So it's, it's a nice little reminder as you're setting up a watch that, hey, I, I have this app, and I use this app, and it's in there. So cool. So scroll with your wrist. Let's learn how to do this. I've never tried it before, so it's going to be interesting. Uh, flick your wrist away from you and then slowly back toward you. Okay. And, you know, this will help if I'm wearing the watch. So let's wear the watch. So if you roll forward, which makes sense because it's tough to roll your arm backwards, uh, roll forward slowly and then back slowly, and that scrolls up. If you roll forward slowly and then flick it back toward you, that scrolls down. So it takes a little getting used to, but you can do it. Get it? Got it? Good. Okay, um, let's take a look at, I don't know, how about some watch faces? See if we have any new watch faces this time around. LG's got actually kind of some of the nicer ones we've seen on Android where I like them a lot. Uh, and having the round face helps a lot. So some of these are normal. We've seen these for a while. World Clock, Red uh, has been on the on the Guar, on the GWatchR. Hiking as well. Ooh, Gold Chairman. Fancy. Uh, GMT, Fitness, Classic, Castle White, Camping. So uh, a couple new ones here. Daily. That's kind of neat. So a whole bunch of nice round watch faces to choose from here on the LG Watch Urbane. We're going to have a lot more on this watch coming up. This is one of the hotter ones we have with Android Wear now. That's it. We'll see ya.